Hello, Facebook. Thank you for joining us today for episode 11 of A Hugh and Salmon Secret Pantry Business. Today we are in Adelaide, only half an hour difference compared to our last video. And we're here with Stuart from Adelaide. Stuart, thank you so much for having us in your kitchen. No, thanks for coming. I love the artwork there on the uh, fridge. Is that your artwork I see? Yeah, no, that's my daughter's. She's um, she's into rainbows at the moment, so she's yeah, getting a piece every day. Nice, nice and uh, proud up on the fridge there. What are you yeah. cooking uh, for us today? So today we're doing um, cue and salmon that's been marinated in a bit of soy and oyster sauce, and then we're going to blow torch it really quickly to sort of really caramelise it. Um, but still keeping it a bit raw. Uh, then some steamed rice, um, some soft eggs, um, and a little bit of the ocean-grown salmon caviar as well. Yeah, beautiful. And where did you get your salmon from today? So obviously from Hewen. Um, we ordered it online, which was pretty cool, pretty different, um, and came came overnight to the front door, which I um, haven't done before, but it was, it was good. It was yeah, cool. great. Great, and, and that's because your wholesalers are uh, not operating as much as they normally are with all the restaurants closed, so it's good to have that option there, hey, um, to be able to get it delivered to your door. Yeah, definitely. So how do we start this recipe? Show us. All right, first off, we're going to make a little marinade. Um, we need to grab soy, oyster sauce, sesame oil. And a little mixing bowl. So basically going equal parts oyster sauce and soy. The exact measurements will be on the recipe. Yeah. Um, and then a few drops of sesame oil. Super strong sesame oil. So three or four drops is heaps. And then a little bit of white sugar and a knob of garlic and a knob of ginger that we just finely mixed. Great. And we mix all that. And because those soys, those oyster sauce are pretty strong flavours, a little bit of water just to let it out. Nice. Just to mix it, just to combine. Uh, at this point, you can add chilli, you can add um, different sauces, sriracha, that sort of stuff. But I like this. It's really sort of um, not plain but subtle. It's more of a subtle recipe uh, with the salmon to really get that fattiness from the salmon. Yeah, um, great. Coming through. great. And uh, so next we've got salmon. We've probably got about 160 grams that we've sliced. We sliced in half that way and then sort of that way so we've got more manageable pieces. They're already sliced um, so we can just give them a quick marinade. Just when you're eating this dish, you don't have to um, you don't have to cut the salmon, you don't have to use a knife and fork, more of a spoon sort of dish. <coughs> what we're going to do is just give that a few minutes in there just to sort of soak in, start the marinating um, and then Get a tray. If you're doing this on a bench, just put a tea towel underneath so you don't heat up the bench too much. And a little blowtorch. Uh, pretty aware that not everyone has a blowtorch. So another way to do this is to put your grill on, grill in the oven, get it really hot, and the highest shelf you can do it, get your salmon in there just for a little blast on the top. Still keep it, still keep it raw on the on the bottom. Um, yeah. Uh, Stuart, for those that are looking for a blowtorch um, that don't have one, what's something that you would look out for um, to be able to get a, a good blowtorch? Well, I, I always get them from the um, Asian supermarkets. I reckon they've got the best ones. Right. Uh, yeah, um, and ones that for cooking, they're they're pretty cheap. They're not as expensive as you think, but um, Asian supermarket for me, that's where I always get them from. Yeah, perfect. So we've given the salmon a little bit. We're just going to lay it on the tray. Try to get it as flat as possible. You can see I haven't gone super thin with the salmon. We want it, um, we want it pretty thick. We want to keep it still sort of semi-raw. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, 
pretty incredible quality salmon that we're getting. So you don't want to really cook it too much for this dish. Um, and then just turn your blowtorch on, careful not to burn the vent. And then just, yeah, just... Safety first. Now, is yeah. there a method? What What's your method for blowtorching? Is it to keep moving, uh, keep in one spot or...? Yeah, just keep moving it along. So we want to get a bit of caramelisation, uh, wait till the flesh changes colour. You'll see the outside bits will get a bit dark and toasty first. And that's what we want, a little bit of toastiness, a little bit of the soy and oyster caramelising caramelizing and the garlic cooking out. Yeah, great. And is that on a really hot heat or a medium heat? Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's probably the hottest that it can go. Okay. Uh, and try to get right at the tip of the flame where the heat's coming out. And then just, yeah, cook that top layer and warm through the rest of it, but still leave it pretty raw. Great. Why are you toasting? Tell us about uh, what you're doing with your restaurants. You're a busy guy with uh, four restaurants that you own and um, a head chef for. H how's it been for you with um, COVID? How have you had to adapt? Yeah, it's been it's been pretty different from what we normally do. Um, initially, we shut them all down uh, just because we didn't know what was happening. Um, and then sort of relaunched a few of them for takeaway in different forms. Yeah. Um, our cafe was pretty easy. Well, one of our cafes was pretty easy to relaunch. Um, the takeaway breakfast option, coffee, that's all fairly straightforward. Um, our restaurant, we've done a little bit different. We've done a um, part-time lover at home experience where you, uh, where you get a pack of all of our um, food that's been prepared in certain vessels and vacuum seal bags and containers um, with cooking instructions on how to heat it up um, at home. So it's like a two-course sort of meal. Right. Uh, and to pair with that, we really wanted to have the sort of part-time lover experience. So we've done uh, little Instagram videos on how to plate it up like we would. We've done a Spotify playlist, music that we would do when in eating in the restaurant, wine matches, um, Little other quirky things. You get a couple of our little part-time other coasters and napkins. Um, oh, that's adorable. Really set the table, feel like you're, you know, you're eating in the restaurant. Yeah, that's fantastic. I love that little touch. Um, I have to say brunch is one of the things I miss the most. I'm a brunch girl and I miss my eggs Benny on a Sunday. So you do that down in Tassie? Can you deliver to, to me? Oh, we can try. <laughs> Wonderful. So the salmon's done then. We can see a bit of a colour change there. Yeah. So this is one of my favourite ways of cooking salmon. Super quick, super easy. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't have to be scared about salmon. It's not It's not this foreign foreign fish that, you know, it's super hard to cook. It's, it's just an easy fish, very similar to cooked chicken. Yeah. Um, you know, for the price of a, a pretty good quality steak and something we should be eating like once a week at least, super high and, you know, the good amigas and it's just really good for you. Yeah, great. We preach that word and <laughs> we appreciate you uh, saying that as well and spreading the word. Well, so because this was so quick, we're almost done and we're only nine minutes into this video. So let's take a moment to go to the pantry. Yeah, sure. A reason we're all here, give us a little look into a chef's pantry. So this is our, this is my, our main pantry. It's pretty, um, it's a bit cluttered at the moment, but we've got the main section here filled with cereal. Cereals is one of my sort of guilty pleasures. I'll eat it a lot of time after work for dinner, so I can't be bothered cooking. Um, <laughs> and then we've got a few, <laughs> few different varieties for the kids. They're into wheat dicks and dust fried and that sort of stuff. Yeah, great. Uh, and then flowers and pastas and that sort of stuff and uh, a few little snack stuff for the kids down there with chips. And Is this stuff. a representation of uh, what your pantry at, um, at the kitchen at the restaurant is? Uh, no, like completely different at the restaurant. We've got a little bit of an Asian twist at the restaurant, so a lot of um, different sauces and soys and nuts and um, spices that go along with that. Yeah. Um, 
yes, probably similar to like what we had up in that maybe just sort of anchoring with fish sauce and sweet chili and the oyster and soy and sesame that we got down before. Yeah. Um, that all those sort of sauces are more stuff that we have at the restaurant. Yeah, great. And what would you say is something in your home pantry that you couldn't live without? Um, definitely soy. Um, soy and oyster sauce is one. Um, sriracha is another one that we have. It's in the fridge that goes on everything. I think they're the main ones. Yeah, yeah. And what would you say is your favourite appliance, home appliance? I, I really like the rice cooker. We're going to get to the rice cooker in a minute, but... Oh, the little machine's incredible. For what it, I don't think you can cook rice better than the rice cooker does. Yeah, great. Every time it's super consistent, fluffy rice, a lot, and can't count the number of times that I've stuffed up rice on the stove. <laughs> I don't know. I have to say, uh, I've always had a rice cooker growing up, uh, well, that I remember, and hot cooking rice just scares the hell out of me. I'm so scared about it. As soon as I moved out, I was like, rice cooker, need yeah. that. There's no way I'm trying to do it because you're right. Every time, fluffy rice. Yeah, it's yes. perfect. You can't compete with it. No. All right. How do we plate this? Yeah, speaking of the rice cooker, we're going gonna, gonna to grab our bowl and fill it up with rice, jasmine rice, nothing too fancy about it. Um, one good tip is just to wash your rice. Yeah. Probably a good two or three times just to get the sort of the natural starch off of it. Um, you'll find your rods won't be gluggy, it'll be nice and fluffy. And, yeah, great. Um, a little bit of salt we've added to the cooking, like to the water when we cook it as well, just to get some flavour in there as well. Yeah, great. Um, from there, we're going to add our salmon. Just pile it all into sort of one section. That's probably heaps. All right, next we've got the um, the salmon reserve caviar. Beautiful. Well, pretty luxury. We don't have to add this. Um, we just saw ties in really nicely with this dish. Something about the saltiness in um, the caviar and rice that goes really well together. Right. Um, so just a nice, you know, you, we can use whatever you want. Nice big spoon, though. Bit of luxury in these ISO times. Yes, <laughs> just a little bit of fancy. Yeah. Um, right, just a little bit of, sort of finely sliced spring onion, a bit of crunch, a bit of white as well. Uh, we're going to get a soft-boiled egg. Nice. We're just going to chop in half. And what's your... What's your tips for soft boil? How do you do it? What's your secret? So I'm, I'm always um, bring the water to the boil and then go in. The so soft boil for me is uh, like super soft like this, how I like it running. It's five minutes from a rolling boil. Right. With um, salted water and, yeah, and then refreshed in cold water straight away. So right. So no problem. peel. Uh, just to top these, we're going to go back to the cover. So one, one, another two ingredients that I have on a lot of my dishes, sesame. So some for sesame seeds. And then this is something else that we use a lot in the restaurant, a little secret ingredient of ours, shredded nori, really finely shredded. Again, super um, seasoned and super salty. Helps um, really bring out that natural sort of sea flavour in the fish, um, any sort of raw fish. And again, with the rice, um, just a really good combo. And where do we get that from? Just an Asian grocer or? And, uh, it, is, it is a bit harder to find um, this brand that we use, a super shredded one, finely shredded. You can buy the normal um, seaweed sheets and toast them yourself and cut them um, with a knife. Um, we like this one. It's just really, really nice seasoning on there. Yeah, great. great. Well, thank you so much, Stuart. That was absolutely fantastic. So quick, so easy, so delicious by the looks of it. I mean, I don't get to eat it, but it looks delicious. 
um, exactly what salmon is all about. So thank you so much for letting us into your home, showing us your rainbow pictures and showing us this recipe. Oh, thanks for having me. No worries. Bye.